This short film has an unusual trait in common with Gadsby. A book famous not for its author or story or plot, but for what isn't in it. This book, in my script right now, is a lipogram, a form of writing with constraints. For both of us, a solitary linguistic symbol isn't a part of our work. If it's not obvious, all I'll say is I can only do my ABCs up to D. This is a story about writing constraints and, most importantly, giving a lot of thought into what I say. So watch on, and you might just find out a thing. Various lipograms can occur without too much work. Avoiding Z, X, or Q is fairly trivial. But try and skip a symbol such as A, I, O, or U, or a common consonant, N, S, or T, and you'll quickly find it's not a straightforward task. That said, a lot of words do work, including, at a maximum, psychopharmacological, which is a study of drugs which impact your mind. A pangrammatic lipogram is a distinct form of writing, a story or paragraph which contains all but a solitary symbol. Lipograms go back a long way, with its first known origins pointing to Lassus of Aragold from around two and a half thousand solar orbits ago. Lassus was a musician and author, and known for not thinking much of Sigma, similar to our S, and did author a full hymn in his own lingua franca without using it. Now this writing is lost to history. Iliad, a famous book, got a lipogram translation. It was in MDCCXI for Roman digit fans, with a London journalist writing that words would vanish, thrown out in a similar way to a diamond with a flaw in it. An author did a biblical lipogram, a scriptural oddity known as Aurora, in which an initial part would skip A, part two would skip B, and so on. Now back to Gadsby, a full 50,000 word book. To bring it to fruition, our author, Wright, had to physically stop his typing apparatus from moving our illicit symbol. Gadsby's story follows John Gadsby, mayor of Branton Hills, who, with a youth organization, works to stop a town from dying. So is it any good? Though grabbing and humorous on occasion, this book is not worth going through for anything but linguistic admiration. Notwithstanding this, I am taking off my imaginary hat to this author's cunning handling of words. I now know how vastly difficult this is. So Gadsby probably wouldn't stand out without this gimmick. It's inspiring though what Wright did. How you do your work is just as important as what you do. So I say do cool stuff, do it in a cool way, and who knows, folks might follow your approach. Thanks for watching, I'm Julian and that was hard. If you thought it was worth a watch, do pass it on to any word loving pals you know, hit a thumbs up or follow button and try your own lipogram. That's it from me.